Hi, I'm former NASA astronaut Don Thomas, and during my 20 years with NASA, I had the amazing opportunity to fly on four space shuttle missions. But my flight aboard Space Shuttle Discovery got off to a shaky start. The STS-70 mission was supposed to launch in early June of 1995. Our mission was to deploy a tracking and data relay satellite. Once deployed, this satellite would broaden our ability to communicate with other satellites and spacecraft no matter where we were around planet Earth. A few days before our flight, a woodpecker in Florida decided that the soft foam insulation on the shuttle's external tank looked just like the bark of a big tree. It decided to do what woodpeckers do best. It pecked away at the foam until it would hit the aluminum metal tank underneath, and it couldn't go any further. After pecking a hole but finding its path forward was blocked, the woodpecker moved over and started a new hole. And again, and again, and again, until the tank was riddled with holes. 205 holes from one single woodpecker. All these holes negated the external tank's ability to keep the liquid hydrogen fuel and liquid oxygen cold. We eventually had to bring the whole space shuttle stack back to the vehicle assembly building to repair the damage. But to prevent another bird assault, NASA put a few woodpecker deterrents out like fake owls near the launch pad, owls being the natural predator of the woodpecker. After the woodpecker holes were repaired, the space shuttle was cleared to launch, and less than 10 hours after our ride to orbit, we successfully deployed the tracking and data relay satellite, allowing enhanced communication around the globe. Overall, a very successful space shuttle mission.